Heavenly Father, we gather in your presence with hearts full of gratitude and humility. As we prepare to reflect on your word, we ask for the guidance of the Holy Spirit to open our minds and hearts to the truths contained within today's readings. May your word bring comfort, strength, and direction to our lives. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Reading 1, Isaiah 26 verses 7 to 9, 12, 16 to 19. The path of the righteous is level. You, the upright one, make the way of the righteous smooth. Yes, Lord, walking in the way of your laws, we wait for you. Your name and renown are the desire of our hearts. My soul yearns for you in the night. In the morning my spirit longs for you. Lord, you establish peace for us. All that we have accomplished you have done for us. Lord, they came to you in their distress. When you disciplined them, they could barely whisper a prayer. As a pregnant woman about to give birth rides and cries out in her pain, so were we in your presence. Lord, we were with child. We writhed in labor, but we gave birth to wind. We have not brought salvation to the earth, and the people of the world have not come to life but your dead will live. Lord, their bodies will rise. Let those who dwell in the dust wake up and shout for joy. Your dew is like the dew of the morning. The earth will give birth to her dead. Responsorial Psalm, Psalms 102 verses 13 to 14, 15, 16 to 18, 19 to 21. You will arise and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to show favor to her. The appointed time has come. For her stones are dear to your servants, her very dust moves them to pity. The nations will fear the name of the Lord. All the kings of the earth will revere your glory. For the Lord will rebuild Zion and appear in his glory. He will respond to the prayer of the destitute. He will not despise their plea. Let this be written for a future generation, that a people not yet created may praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his sanctuary on high. From heaven he viewed the earth, to hear the groans of the prisoners and release those condemned to death. Gospel, Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Prayer, Gracious God, we come before you with hearts filled with gratitude for the gift of your word. As we reflect on today's readings, we are reminded of your unwavering love and the peace that comes from walking in your ways. Lord, we pray for strength to follow the path of righteousness. As Isaiah describes, may our souls yearn for you in the night and our spirits long for you in the morning. Establish your peace in our hearts and in our lives, for all that we have accomplished is through your grace and guidance. As we go forth from this time of reflection, may we carry your peace, compassion, and hope in our hearts. Guide us in our daily lives to be instruments of your love and grace. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.